Hello, welcome to another beer review with your host Jonathan Brown and we're going to Wales. Um, picked up a beer um, at a garden centre of all places and we're going to uh, see my Welsh isn't very good. We're going to Clenefly. Is it Clenefly? Have I pronounced that right? If I'm not, murder me in the comments. We're going to the, um, how do you pronounce this? We are going to the Felling Foal Brewery. And I've got um, a bottle of their Double Dragon. Lovely jubbly. 4.2% ABV. There you go. Look at that, boys and girls. load of old Welsh language down there. The National Isle of Wales, according to the label. And there is the backside. There you go. Right. I shall read the backside for you because I've looked it up. I, I can't find really any info about this brewery. Um, the deep copper red ale has. Um, I'm not going to go into flavours. <clears throat> I'll tell you what I get. Um, it's won a gold medal at the International Brewers Exhibition. And it's, uh, they say, Double Dragon is a truly champion ale. Um, it doesn't tell you anything about um, what hops are in this. It doesn't tell you anything about the uh, yeast, what's in this. It just says hops and brewer's yeast. So it could be anything in that. Um, it, well, it's apparently it's been brewed since 1878. So I really should have looked it up on the internet a little bit more, to be honest. Um, so let's crack her open anyway, because... Uh, I'm in a bit of the land of the unknown with this one, so like you do. There is the plain green crown, the green green grass of home, as old Tom Jones used to say. Mmm, it's a bit. No, what, what what I first picked up from the neck was something like a nettle, um, like a nettle leaf. It, it's it's. I'm getting something like that with a little hint of caramel just just creeping behind it but there's more kind of like grassy grassy fresh nettleness at the at the front with a little hint of malt and a little bit of caramel it smells quite nice actually to be honest so um let's uh pour out and as you can see it is well, looking at it, it's quite gold actually. Um, uh, what did they say this was? This was a, a deep copper red ale. I don't know if that's copper red. To be honest, it looks more. It looks it looks different on on the screen than what I'm holding it in my hand. Just putting it up to the light up there. Well, that could be right, I suppose. Well, they should be right. They brewed it, didn't they? So, so let's see what we're gonna get from the aromas. Yeah, getting more caramel, more of that <coughs> nugget, nuggetness. Maybe a hint of nut there as well. It's 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 kind of like a bit bit changed from the neck, like. But it smells really really nice. So um, let's top her up. Carbonation wise, um, quite busy as you can see there. It's slowly. Slowly gone to dribs and drobs and drabs carbonation. So, nice looking head as well. So, cheers. I'm going to go in. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. There's a little bit of a coppery thing there. And as soon as... It's funny, as soon as you taste the beer, you think... Bing, yeah, I like it, and it's it's right. Um, I'm getting a coffee, maltness, little hint of burnt bread crust. Bit of carbonation rolling around. <clears throat> Not that too bitter. Sessionable, yeah. I like sessionable beers, you know. Um, food pairing-wise... I think it will go well with with a pie of some sort. 
um, very much so. I've I've, I've noticed with with um, with um, sessionable beers, they're easier to to think food wise because you know food pairings they tend to pop in your head a little bit more because they're so easy drinking and you you can have something to eat with them. You know what I mean? And for me, a pie would go well with this. And it's quite very easy drinking. It's really bad. It's really, really nice. So, boys and girls, it's a short one. It's a nutty, toffee, nuggety type of beer. Really, really enjoyable. Very light. And you can session it all day. And that is this beer. That is pronounced Felin Foal, Double Dragon. Nice beer. Nice beer. Thanks for watching this review. Please subscribe. See you on my next one. Cheers.